Hi and welcome to this month's Tech with Tips video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple macros to help us with arranging our marks in drawings. Uh, a, a really common type of detailing I see in the, the presentation of it looks very nice is when the marks are perpendicular like I have over on the right side. Now I want to make aware or make you all aware of these two macros that we have is because it can save some time when you are manually having to move these marks to achieve the type of detail that you are um, trying to do. Um, and what I'm specifically talking about is for arranging marks perpendicularly. Now they will sort of like snap horizontal or uh, vertical when you're moving these. So if I was to do this the slow way, I'd be moving all these marks manually. Um, they could be all over the place based on my mark placement settings and what my protection settings are. Um, and if I undo, we can use these macros to help speed up that process. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the marks that I want to have uh, just horizontal or straight to the left or straight to the right of where that annotation is pointing to. So I can select those. I'll move the marks vertically to perpendicular. So all of those are adjusted and then I can grab these two. I'll use the other macro and those are going to be snapped. I might have to run this two times depending on what our output is. There we go. Okay and as we move these like maybe I want this one to be over here. I'm going to move the, the leader line for this mark as well and I can just be sloppy with it drag it over um, I can double click that again and it will straighten those marks out so this can definitely save some time by having to manually move all those marks around and this is especially useful if we are dealing with tons and tons of objects so let's look at a more complicated or complex example to see how these uh, these two macros can save you some time in detailing now I've moved into another model and I'm going to create a drawing uh, that has lots of different objects and show how quickly that we can adjust those annotations to have a nice presentation style. Um, you know, this is just going to save you time um, manually having to move those marks or, or arrange them to, to look uh, nicely for when you're ready to issue your drawings. So let's go ahead and create this drawing. I do have some predefined object level settings. So there's going to be a, a red hatch for the face for all my piles and the piles are going to have their own part mark. So let's go ahead and create this drawing. And you can see in this example, it's, it's much more complex than the previous one uh, to manually move those five or six rebar marks. It's not a significant time savings, but when we're dealing with this amount of marks that we need to move, um, it can uh, it can definitely be time consuming, especially if you have to do the same type of uh, movement for annotations and several drawings. So now I can just select all of these marks. I'll double click on that macro to adjust them. And I've noticed sometimes uh, and I might not correct. Um, all of them or it seems like some of them are at 45 degree angles uh, so I just double click it again and it should fix those. We can see these move live which is why I'm doing these in chunks rather than wait and watch all of them move. So you can see all of those are adjusting again a couple didn't they're stuck at like 45 degree angles so let me just double click that again and it should Go ahead and make everything correct. Um, and then if there's some changes I need to make, like maybe you know this one needs to be down here. Uh, uh, let's just move this over to the left. And let's move that one down. We'll make this one horizontal. Okay, and then on those remaining marks right there, I'll find those, select them, double click the macro. And within, you know, a minute or so, I can adjust all of these marks to have a really nice presentation style. And I've noticed a lot of users that are manually moving their marks to, to be perpendicular. Um, so I just wanted to uh, spread some awareness for how useful these two macros can help you with uh, finishing up tidying your drawings. 
So that's all for today's video. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure to reach out to your local Techless support team and we'll see you next time.